Hey everybody, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Fashion Friday. This is episode number 7. Uh, I want to just say thanks for all the support on the last Fashion Fridays. It's been really fun doing these and it's really exciting to see people gravitate these so early on in my YouTube career. It's been really motivating, makes me want to do more. Hope you guys are having a good week. It's been a, a new year, but seems seems a little crazy still. Can't say I didn't really expect that, though, to be honest. I also wanted to thank everyone for 100 subscribers. Just cross that. I wouldn't say I never expected to get here, but it does feel like I got here pretty fast, and it's really cool to see all the supportful comments you guys have been giving me, even on the PvP side. I just want to say I appreciate it. Uh, I try to comment back to anyone that um, comments on the videos. I uh, like communicating with you guys is probably the most enjoyable part of the uh, whole YouTube thing so far. So, you know, keep doing that for me. I appreciate it. Also, if you didn't notice, I did a little rebranding. Um, I made a new logo for the channel. I think it looks really awesome. Let me know what you guys think. I did a new banner on the homepage of my channel. Not the most professional one, but I thought it looked pretty good. Let me know what you think. Let's get into uh, some fashion, shall we? Uh, let's start with the Titan first. I put together a build that I've been really wanting to do for a while now, but it's a little more difficult than I was expecting when I got this ornament, actually. This is the Hallow Fire Hearth exotic with the ornament that came out last season, actually. I picked it up for Bright Dust, and I just love the jet engine look to it. But it's kind of hard to incorporate with a lot of Titan armor. I uh, really try to lean into the uh, jet engine look. I've got the Last Wish arms on here and the Dawning helmet. I decided to go with the Solstice boots to get some uh, more of that matching blue glow. I'm rocking Stasis Titan to get it um, closer to that blue engine of the chest. But I decided to go with like this Throne of Suit like dirty leg look instead of a uh, more matchy matchy shader with the rest of the set because I wanted it to kind of feel like the engines above it and like the byproduct of it burning is kind of just slowly gotten that part of the uh, armor dirty. I thought, I thought it looked pretty cool but obviously if you want more of a clean more matchy matchy look you could switch a shader out here. Let me know what you guys think of that though. I do wish there was a better shader for what I was trying to do with the helmet. I went. I ended up doing the shrouded stripes shader to get the blue glow and mostly black look to match the rest of the armor. It does have those stripes though, which I wish it didn't have, but it was the only one that was mostly black and gave me that blue glow that I wanted. Jacarina had a lot of white. I know it's a mostly black shader with blue glow, but didn't really work for what I was trying to do here. Let's move on to the next Titan. I've got a really cool set. These pieces are pretty loose fit. These pieces have this one motif in common. It's just these small circular rivets. You can see on the legs, it's really noticeable on the arms and the head has some like screws on the top of it. And the chest just has like one there on the chest. But I just found it oddly pleasing to the eye. Other geometries though flow pretty well. They're all pretty smooth curves. Um, the proportions seem pretty good actually. Those uh, arms can be a little hard to work in since they give you such an asymmetrical proportion. They they really shade the same way these dune marchers do. So it actually kind of works well with the dune marchers in my opinion, if you can get a good chest to match the uh, silhouette. I've got the wild hunt chest on here and the raid of the DSC mark, the siege breaker helmet, and the, the newest Halloween set arms. This is all in a dreaming cast shader. I think it looks really good though. I uh, kind of accidentally stumbled upon this while playing PVP. I was just throwing on armor, had good stats and noticed all these rivets and circular bolts and stuff like that. And just kind of liked how it flowed in a more subtle way. Uh, our next Titan set is using the new forbidden visage ornaments that it came out this season. Really like these. I know uh, people are hating on the Titan helmet, but I really like the look. I wish the base of the helmet was a little wider. I'm having trouble matching that thinness with the rest of the Titan armor in the game. I think what I've done here is pretty good. 
this neck of the undying chest piece kind of helps ease you into um, that thin helmet into the rest of the body armor uh, with that collar. I've got the Sightons on as well, the Scourge of the Past legs, and the newest dawning mark on. I've got the Horizon Blush uh, shader on the helmet and the Sightons, and I really like the detail the Horizon Blush gives that helmet. I was about to just turn it all black, but I think it really loses some of the intricacies of that helmet. It has a, nice, a lot of nice grooves running along the sides, and the Horizon Blush fills those in with that bright red, and it, I really like it, actually. And what he does to these Sightons is actually kind of cool, too. Makes the uh, big shoulder pieces mostly black with like orangish red uh, outer sections. It's not very like blood red, but you can kind of kind of looks like worn and really cool look to it. If you don't have the scourge of the past legs, I think I think you'd swap out a, a lot of different Titan legs here. I don't think they're like really uh, tying in super hard with the design. I just like those um, side like piston looks. I feel like those um, like thin pieces really help tie in some of the helmet attributes. And you kind of kind of see this thin accent going all the way up the Titan set here. You know, it's on the legs on the outer side. It's on your wrist to uh, elbow there. And then the uh, the wings of the undying chest. And then you have those little spears coming out of the side of the head on the head as well. Let's move over to Hunter. We're starting out with a really bright Hunter today. Uh, I think doing all those sets for sweats last week really uh, got me in the mood to pop some color. Uh, if you looking for some really good all black sets, I'd check out my last video, Fashion Friday 6. These are uh, pretty much unshaderable pants. The uh, purple and the white there do not change ever. The uh, what, what's black on the thigh there does change. So I was really kind of challenging myself to match that purple, that purple's intensity at least. And I think Arctic Pearl does a pretty good job here. I've, uh, I've used um, the Solstice Arm and Helmet with the Night Stalker subclass to get this nice purple glow. Uh, all these purples are slightly off, but I think it actually kind of forms a nice gradient You've got a nice few different shades of purple. Um, also using one of the dawning shaders. You can see the little snowflakes on the hood. I thought those those actually look pretty good. They, I think they helped break up that hood's that hood shades like in one color usually. And I kind of wanted it to have a little more white and gray to tie into the rest of the, the armor pieces. Really liked how this one come out. Um, you know, I think it can be tough to use some of these bright colored shaders and uh, make them look pretty good. And I think I did a pretty good job here. This is a set that I really like, this next Hunter set. I just love this combo of these dawning arms and this Last Wish chest. I think it really stems from my love of this Last Wish chest. There's so much detail here. Those uh, breastplates with the uh, you know staircase sides and those gold accents, even the detailed gold around the neck. Just a really cool chest piece. I think these dawning arms really punch up with it, with all the details. You know, you've got a lot of the layered look on the right shoulder for us. And then you got that nice glowing disc poking out of that. And then you also have that simplistic, you know, just cloth hanging over the right hunter shoulder. I think it looks really cool. I think it's a really good way to balance out some of the complexities of this chess piece. And then I've got these, the, the raid cloak on too. I think it matches super well with this Celestial Nighthawk ornament. The way the beak, you know, angles up into the face and the way that like mohawk of that DSC cloak, I think they just they just follow that same line into the head and it, it looks really good in my opinion. And that glow there kind of plays off the glow of the shoulders. I'm not 100% pleased with the legs, but I think they do a good job here. The glow matches that glow of the arm and the eyes. In the armor set, that's why I kind of was leaning towards this set. I think I maybe could have done more of a white shader, but I also don't like doing too much of the samey samey on your armor pieces. And I really like to use the belt of characters. 
or aka just shading shadering the legs differently. I mean, that's because that's kind of how real life works as well. You know, you don't wear uh, all one color usually. I mean, you can, but I think it looks better with different colors to balance. This is um, mostly Precursor Vex Chrome Shader, by the way. So this is my last Hunter set for the day. I um, got the DSC helmet for my Hunter finally, and I really wanted to make a set with it. I put together the helmet with this cloak you get from doing the, uh, you know, eight bounties a week for Shex. I think the tubing coming into the neck there really inspired me to go into this like Sith Star Wars look and uh, finally got me to pull out this Gwisson ornament. I've had this thing for a while, but it looks very similar to the other one, and I actually don't use the Gwisson vest that much, so just have never really played around with it, but I think it looks really good here. Adds a lot of complexity to that chest right where that tubing goes above it. I think it really helps match some of the intricacy there. I think the tubing and that little swirl look really nice next to nice next to each other. Cool thing about this ornament, you get these like metal plates near the hip and the uh, like abdomen. Looks really cool, I think. Uh, I've got just the Icarus uh, grips on. You, these are just world drops this season. I thought they did a really good job of matching that Star Wars-y vibe. Um, there might be other good pieces there, but I liked the um, that Star Wars-like scrappy feel. And then um, to, to get that red glow, I had to compromise a little bit on the shader. I think I would have preferred just going a really nice deep black throughout the leg, but I couldn't get a shader that did that and gave me that red glow. I think that red glow is worth um, maybe a little bit less of an ideal match for the rest of the shader because it just really sells that like dark red lightsaber look to really round out this Sith look. I, I was really a big fan of the set. I didn't find too much inspiration with that DAC helmet by itself, but I'm really glad I tried it with this cloak. I think it's really come together well as a Sith set. Uh, I could definitely see myself using this if I start rocking the Gwisson vests for anything soon. So we're gonna transition over here into the Warlock now. Um, this first set's rocking the Wings of Sacred Dawn. This is an absolute beautiful exotic on its own. I think matching the opulence and gold trim and red glow glowing eyes on the wings can be a little bit of a little bit of a tall task. I uh, tried to go for more of a relaxed vibe, maybe you could say. I uh, kept up the opulence a little bit with the Lux arm, but wanted to match the loose looseness of the uh, tail of the cloak here a little bit, and went with the Lux legs as well. They've got the nice baggy feeling in the the thighs, and I thought the gold accents uh, around the hip and near the ankle went really well. I also found a great shader that gave the uh, chest a gray, gray body and gave the uh, legs a gray boot and uh, like really dark leg. I think it looks really good here as a combo. I'm rocking the Valkyrian head. Anytime I'm really going for an opulence, I just find myself gravitating towards this helmet. Those gold accents on the black visor, just such a cool touch. I love this helmet. Super, super fun set. But um, let's move on gonna do uh, another set that I was really challenging myself here. I really, really do not like these DSC robes for the Warlock. Not because they look bad or anything. I think they look really cool. Just really hard to match um, that bulkiness of near the neck on the legs of the Warlock. The, the arms are not too difficult and the head can be done. I think I did a good job here, for example. But I mean, these are these are some of the bulkiest legs in the game for Warlock here with the Geo Mags. And I, I, they look puny. They look like sticks beneath that big old chest piece. It's really tough to work with. I tried experimenting with some like really thin legs to maybe kind of sell it as like a jetpack on a smaller Warlock, but it just didn't look that great either. Just looks weird. It just screams you skipped leg day, in my opinion. 
I've seen some people do a decent job with this chess piece, but I don't think it's for me. I, I think I'll be using ornaments on it. If you want to take notes on this one, I think this helmet takes a really good job of matching that bulkiness near the neck. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Really tall, which I think is really important here. This is the um, Garden of Salvation helmet, if you didn't know. So it's still obtainable. I got the DSC chest in Jacarina. It gives it those nice gray patterns on the fabric. I think that it works well with the unshaderable parts of the helmet there, the gray near the eyes. To balance uh, those blue glows, I use the the uh, Garden of Salvation bond there as well. The uh, solstice grips uh, were just a little extra. It's just the white glow ones because I didn't buy those ornaments for my warlock. But I think it does a nice job of, you know, carrying out the glow throughout the set that you see. And then the geomags, I think they're a little too thin. I think ideally you would have a pair of boots that really flared out hard near the bottom. And I mean, <laughs> these are these are pretty thick throughout. So maybe I don't even know if there's boots like that in a warlock existence. Like the DSC boots kind of do it well, but I honestly don't think they match this chest either that well. I played around with those too. Let me know if you've gotten a good pair of boots to match that chest, though. I, I was having some, some trouble, but I think overall this set looks pretty cool. It's going to be the last war, Warlock set here. I wanted to use these Steeplechase cloak. Maybe try to do it a little differently than I've seen anywhere else. So I've got the, the uh, Dawning Warmth, which kind of tends to be like my shader, like my go-to shader. This shader is just really good. I love this red on it. And I think the gold and the blue that they have to used to uh, kind of give it a contrast do a really good job of balancing it. Um, I really like the way the uh, bones match in with the rest of this set here. With the dawning warmth. And you can see me using the Valkyrian helmet again. I tried playing with Skull of Ahamkara. And I even have that ornament. And the bones on that just are slightly different than the bones on the chest piece. And it was kind of bugging me. It just didn't, didn't sit right uh, right on top of that necklace of bones. If they had maybe been like near the midsection, I think it would have been enough of a difference of color and difference of distance that uh, I guess it's hard to explain my um, my thought process in this. But it's like... The further you are away from the other element, the more it's okay to like change the color slightly. I just think it's okay to stray away from matchy matchy. I uh, really like the boots and I've got the Karnstein armlets going on uh, with the rivalry stoic um, and the boots are just rocking dawning warmth as well. I guess you can kind of see where I'm coming from. The, the rivalry stoic, it's more of a tan than that bone color near the neck. But since it's that far away, I feel like it works pretty well. You know, you can you, you can tell me what you think of that in the comments. But uh, let's go ahead and move on. So this is a first of its kind. I'm going to be shouting out a viewer of the channel. Um, it's Dursi on Discord sent me this set. I think it's really cool. Blue Shift Dreams on all these pieces. Love the use of the... Dawning ornaments alongside the Empyrean ornaments. And he's got the uh, Halloween Scarin Corvus cloak on as well. I've never tried that cloak on that helmet. I think it's pretty cool. Kind of obscure a little bit of that glow. Uh, I like the glowing elements and the main pieces of the armor. They're all pretty subtle, but cool continuity. I think uh, maybe I would try to change the shader. You have First Frost, I think that could be pretty cool if you wanted a very similar look. But First Frost, it's kind of like Blue Shift Dreams, but it gives a lot of texture to the black portions of the metal of the armor. Uh, Blue Shift does have some pretty cool animations, though, that don't come through well with this picture. I uh, do think the Empyrean chest here has that unshadable gold parts, and I don't really like it with the uh, Blue Shift Dreams shader. I think they kind of clash a little. 
and I I uh, I just ignore this mainly uh, when I'm using this cloak as well. But I really wish that Scare and Corvus cloak shaded on that green triangles in the back. You can kind of see them through the legs there. If you uh, took the screenshot at a different time, the legs may be covering those up, and that's what I do. <laughs> if you see that Scare and Corvus on any of my sets. It's super frustrating. Uh, that whole set is kind of ruined by those unshadable parts, but that cloak is so cool. I love how it hangs over the so much so far over the helmets of the hunters. I used it last week to kind of obscure the use of worm husk being used in my set as like a sweaty way of catching your enemies off guard. Yeah, but uh thanks Dursey for sending me that sweat. If there's interest in uh, other people in sending their own sets in let me know. Uh, just leave a comment saying, like, you'd be interested in joining a Discord or be interested in sending me sets and uh, showcasing a couple uh, at the end of my videos like this one. And I uh, consider starting that up. The only reason I really haven't done that yet is with 100 subscribers, I feel like the pool of people sending in will probably be pretty low. And uh, I could be wrong. You know, but I think it might be a good thing just to wait on that part of the uh, videos. But if there's a lot of interest, I'll definitely start doing it. I uh, I like giving critiques um, on other people's armor sets. I think everyone's got their own style, and I think it's really fun to see what everyone else is doing as well. So, yeah, I'm definitely open to it if there's interest. That wraps it up for all the sets I have, but I think I'm going to try something a little different next week. We'll see how it pans out. It might require a lot of production and um, behind the scenes work. So it may get pushed back to the week after that if it's just not coming together before Friday. But uh, I think this format is being done pretty well by um, Rips and Muffin Bandit. Uh, I'm sure you know them if you've found me by now. They're the other two main guys that I've seen in the fashion scene here. Uh, which is kind of crazy. It's like, it seems like it's just us three. I, uh, had, I literally had not even searched Destiny 2 Fashion on YouTube when I first put out a Destiny Fashion video. I just thought it was something unique and fun that I hadn't seen. And after like a couple of videos and seeing the reception was really good on those, I was like, is no one else doing this? And I, I found them and I've been enjoying being in their Discord and community. I highly recommend checking them out if somehow you found me and haven't found them. <laughs> They seem like really nice guys. But yeah, I think they're doing this format. Uh, it's kind of just how I started, but it seems like that's what they're uh, doing as well. Kind of showing off sets, maybe talking about them, talking about what shaders they're using, um, and then showing off a uh, subscriber's set. Um, I don't mind this format, and I think it is fun. I could just see this becoming... A little difficult to keep up weekly doing it all on my own but at the same time there's like infinite permutations so i'm just interested in being a little different and i don't want to give anything away just in case it doesn't really happen but yeah we'll see how the next fashion friday pans out and make sure you subscribe and uh turn on notification bells if you're really interested but uh you know just check out the channel around friday and that'll work too <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Fashion Friday number seven. It's been crazy. A lot of appreciate the support once again. Leave a comment if you've got some sets you want to show me. And uh, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.